Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors. I'm Jeff. Chris has been bugging me about putting together a segment on cooking some venison in the slow cooker. So today I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to do it in real time so you can see just really how long it takes me to prep it and how I put it together. So let's cook some venison. So how I start, I'm a little different probably than the way Chris has done it, but I always start by getting my pan cook uh, top, top started. I go about medium high and I start preheating the pan because I'm going to brown it before I throw it in the crock pot. I got my crock pot laid out already um, so when I get everything in there it'll be ready to go. Then I go ahead and I grab my ingredients and I lay them out. So you'll see here, pretty straightforward. I have, I'm going to coat the venison that I have here, a nice piece that Mike up at Kessler's in Glenwood City prepped for me. I'm going to cover that with this. I'm going to put a little bit of Lowry's, a little garlic salt and a little pepper on it. I'm going to coat it. Inside the crock pot I'm going to make a half serving of au jus to put in there. It's basically a half cup and one teaspoon. I'm going to put that in the crock pot. And then uh, I'm going to brown this and throw it in the crock pot and cook it on high for about three or four hours. That's going to be everything. So I'll show you how this goes together real quick. And we'll get it on the in the slow cooker. So, let's get a little more light on the subject here. Let's see if that helps. Alright, so here's my piece of venison. Nice big chunk of roast. Make sure it doesn't smell bad. So, just going to put some olive oil and I'm going to rub it down. Like so. And then I have, I put Lowry's. Garlic salt. And pepper. Flip it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I know Chris likes to use his uh, fancy, uh, you know, sea crushed super salt seasonings. I use the cheapest pepper I can find. And it just happens to be a coincidence that the garlic salt and the, and, and the seasoned salt are both Lowry's. Just happen to like the flavors. So that's all I do there. I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it in and I'm going to brown it. While that sits, we'll get this thing prepped. And there's my slow cooker and I'll show you how I do this real quick. Let me get the oil off my hand. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know exactly what cut of venison this is. I don't know if this is a... Um, I don't know if this is Missouri, if this is North Carolina, or if this is Wisconsin. I'm not really sure where we got this one. Hell, it could be Colorado for all I know. Um, because I had a, had a lot of it taken up to Mike up there, and he, he does the best hot dogs in my opinion. So I take my stuff up there every, every season, have him make dogs, and then I, I have him butcher up whatever he can. So. In a crock pot, I use a teaspoon like this, not an actual legitimate teaspoon. But I'm going to get the crock pot up on high, half a cup of water, teaspoon of my au jus sauce, au jus. Okay, that's it for my seasonings. Now this should be nice and hot, and I'm just going to put a brown on it. And all I'm really doing is kind of searing each side of it. 
Now, since I hear that sizzle, it's going to cool down the pan, so I will crank the heat up to high. So I'm going to brown one side for a minute or so, flip it over, brown the other side, drop it in the water in the oju on high, and come back and check in four hours. And that's pretty much all I do. I'm going to pair this tonight. Red beans and rice for me. Mac and cheese for the kids. You put it with whatever you want. Maybe I'll throw some zucchini on the grill. Probably end up being a bag of frozen peas, but either way, I'll put something like that with it. So I'm going to flip that over, and let's take you over to see You see I got a nice little brown crust on the top of it. That's all I'm really doing in there, just trying to sear that juice in there because I don't want it to get, I don't want it to be dry. So that's essentially all I'm doing this for. Always double check that all the wrapping is off of it. Some people like to trim the silver skin. I like a little bit of silver skin on there. People call it gamey. I kind of think it gives it a, I don't know, wilder taste. But everybody's different. Season to your liking. Okay. On this side here, you'll see there's still, I don't know if you can see from the light here, there's still a little bit of uncooked portion there or unbrowned portion. So I will stand it up this way. I usually will only sear all four corners if I don't get a good even coat, like this one. So, now I'm just going to let it cook on high for about three and a half, four hours until it starts to shred nicely with a fork. And then, when it's all said and done, we have a lot of different flavors in the family. And Chris is going to be very disappointed to see this. Um, but I do not have Sweet Baby Ray's on the menu tonight. My wife likes KC Masterpiece. The kids want to try the sweet and zesty. And I got Pappy's Sauce for Sissies. And I usually will have... Um, Sweet Baby Ray's as well, but we're out, so this is going to be the choices tonight, and we'll take that and shred it up, and we'll come back when it's all said and done, and you can see what the kids think. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so here we are. We've got uh, about three and a half hours in on the, on the veni roast here, and I'm going to start seeing if it's ready to shred. It's been on high. Let's see if I can get that for you. So what I'll do now is I'll take my specialty tools. Oh, and it's just, I don't know if you can see what it's, it's just coming right apart. So I'm going to just basically take the fork and it's just kind of like doing a pulled pork. Just going to go through and just shred this up. I'm going to turn the crock pot down to, to low this point and the venison is just going to simmer for about 30 more minutes on low and we're going to serve it and then uh, I'll you'll see how the kids feel and what they think of it and there you go that's it so this is the finished product I'm a big fan of mac and cheese with my barbecue I think that's an American staple 
The bag, mac and cheese and red beans and rice, it just followed the packaging constructions for whatever national brand you like. And then that's the way the venison turned out. Um, we'll take a picture here of the kids eating it, and they'll, uh, they'll be the true judge of whether it turned out good. So let's see what they think. Okay, so here they are, having a little bit of, of the venison uh, pot roast. How did it turn out? Amazing. Delicious. Yeah, is it tender and not dry? Yep. Yes. All right, there you go. So even the kids like it. Oh, that feels like a startup job. My son is a pescatarian, and look what he's eating. That's how good that venison recipe is. My pescatarian son is eating it. Boom. Okay, so we just finished our venison roast, and... Uh, when you watch these TV shows, everybody always says that their meal is delicious, but you can't taste it, so you gotta go on face value. Well, on this one here, I think the proof is in the stew as it is empty. So, give it a try, and as always, thanks for watching.